he stood on the cliff and the wind in his face there was mocking and chucking with thistle-like prickles it spraying and foaming. The billow arose and then crumbled, white-headed and knocking. The sea at the granite sheer walls it slept in the gloaming. The Old Viking by Valerie Brusov, translated by Rupert Morton. Hello everyone, it's Crowd Games, and today we'll do plenty of raiding in the North Seas and get acquainted with the Vikings, those mighty ancient warriors and sailors. Okay, the Vikings were different. But together with all of them you'll work in the village, harvest resources and provisions, and then raid outposts, fortresses and monasteries. At the beginning of the game, place all Valkyries and plunder into the bag, and randomly draw and place the required number for each raid in space, along with all white and grey workers. Place three black workers on the gatehouse, town hall and treasury. Place three offering tiles on the game board and place all the remaining tokens and coins next to the board. Place one score marker of each player's color on the zero spaces of the three tracks around the board's edge. Next, each player receives one black worker, two silver and one ship card in their chosen color. Also, each player draws five cards from the town's folk draw pile and chooses three to keep in their hand. As you see, the setup takes no time at all. Even less take the rules of the game, as everything is extremely simple. On your turn, you either work in the village, gathering supplies and hiring crew, or raid someone. And if you decide to work hard, you take two actions. First, you place a worker and resolve its action. Second, you pick up a different worker and resolve its action. Therefore, the opponents will not be able to block the actions you need. There is a worker somewhere? You just pick it up and perform the action you need. The game has three types of workers. In some cases, their type affects how the building works. For example, if you place your black worker in the mill, you gain one provision, the grey worker will get you two provisions instead and the white one will let you choose between two provisions or one gold. Speaking of the village buildings, Gatehouse lets you draw two cards from the Townsfolk draw pile, and Town Hall conversely allows you to play one card. Treasury allows you to discard one card to gain two silver or discard two cards to gain one gold. Barracks are there if you want to hire a new crew member, and Armory can be used to exchange one iron for two armor or two silver for one armor. Silversmith lets you take silver from the main supply, and the longhouse allows players to take one of two actions, either exchange one livestock for two provisions or offer goods to the chieftain. To raid a settlement, players need to meet three requirements. They must have a large enough crew, enough provisions and gold for monasteries or fortresses, and the required type of worker. To score victory points for the raid, you need to gain the necessary military strength. Military strength is made up of rolled dice, hired crew strength, hired crew actions and armor. The greater your military strength, the more points you'll get. During the raids you will encounter Valkyries, who will take your companions to the whole of Odin. But such an encounter will also bring you victory points. You move your score marker one space up the Valkyrie track for each Valkyrie taken during a raid. When you reach the top of the track, you'll get as many as 15 points at the end of the game. You can get extra points by offering goods to the chieftain. Each offering tile indicates which resources you must pay in order to get victory points. When you meet the conditions, you pick up the tile and place it in front of you. Well, now the most important thing. In the game, to perform various actions, you constantly use the town's folk cards. Each card shows the military strength, cost to hire and two actions – hired crew action and town hall action. Each card can be used in two ways. You can either place as a hired crew member in front of you to later use their hired crew action during raids, or play in a town hall to resolve a town hall action. When you hire a crew member, you get some bonuses. For example, the forager allows you to gain one additional provision in the mill, and the archer scores you two victory points when raiding the outpost. Some cards may score you victory points at the end of the game. 
The rules of the game are simple, the setup and the raids are very fast, so the Raiders of the North Sea is a perfect option for a family game night, especially if you don't have much free time. There are a lot of cards in the game, so different Vikings replace one another and you can experiment and hire various crews that will help you both in the village and during raids. So do not waste your time and go raid the North Sea! As usually, we don't say goodbye. Stay tuned! Find out more about our localized games at crowdgames.ru To learn more about our games, visit crowdgames.us